Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. If you're not, welcome back. Today is an ideas video. Today we are talking about Mother's Day. So I came up with nine ideas for moms, which could be grandmas, aunties, sisters that are moms, friends that are moms. So what I want you to do is think about all the moms that you have in your life that you want to honor this Mother's Day. And if you don't have a mom, think about somebody you can honor who is a mom and make them something. Every one of us knows a mom or is a mom. So if you want to make one of these things for yourself too, you can as well. You can check out my Amazon store for a lot of these wood projects. All the cut files are available to my members. And we're also using anti tape products for a lot of these, like our new home line chalked up paint, which I have a whole series teaching you how to use our chalked up paint and techniques. So you're gonna see a lot of really cute things in this video that if you're not sure how to paint like that, I have an entire series for you. Okay, the first thing is a paper photo explosion box. And these are so fun. They look like a little box, but when you open them, they have little treasures in them. You can add your mom's favorite candy or just some knickknacks or doodads, um, but it's such a fun way to preserve memories. You can do this based around an entire theme like grandkids, or you can do it just with a trip that you guys went on or just some photos that you want to preserve for your mom a home sign now the special thing about this home sign is it is a chalkboard home sign so i have a video on teaching you how to turn paint into a chalkboard so you don't want to miss that video but this home sign is super cool because it's interchangeable for the holidays so you can get really creative and make different frames for each o or you can gift this in this season with a mother's day theme each different time of the year gift another little part so what i love to do is i like to gift this home sign to multiple people and then when that time of the year comes out i will make like 10 new wreaths and then i'll be able to gift that wreath so that they have a new wreath to put on their home sign this is great for easter holidays um all the things and it doesn't it's not just a gift just for moms this gift would work for anybody who has a little cute porch or a house that they want to just spruce up with a home sign chalkboard signs now these are super fun and super easy but i also have a video on how to make chalkboard signs but i love doing fun hacks like finding old picture frames at the thrift store but you can also use um, any piece of wood that I got from Amazon, like these Winnie the Pooh signs. I know these are very kid-friendly signs, but you can definitely spruce them up to make them Mother's Day friendly. A grandkids sign. Now, if mom doesn't like anything more than her kids, she likes her grandkids. So grandkids are but you can do this with kids you can do this with aunties you can do this with anybody but it's just a little frame that says grandkids and a clip that you can clip in a photo of the grandkids i like the clip method because it makes it super easy again you can re-gift more photos later that you can change out that photo something that's really fun is if you don't don't sneak into their house but when you're in their home you can sneak a new picture into their frame without having to take the whole frame down. Like the clips are just game changer, especially for people like me who take forever to finally put my pictures into frames. A tray, these trays come in packs of five on Amazon and when I found them, I fell in love with them. So I could get multiple and make multiple people projects or just stash them aside so that when I have somebody who needs a gift, I can just whip something up pretty quickly. I love these trays. They go for tons of different things, bathrooms, kitchens, dining rooms, so many cute things you can do with them. So a tray is endless possibilities. A wine box. I found this wine box on Amazon. It is just a plain wood wine box and I love it guys. You can chalk paint it up. You can put your favorite saying on it. You can put one of our SVGs for wine on it. There are so many cute things that you can do and then you can get your favorite wine or maybe you guys went wine tasting together and you bought an extra one to gift back to them. Um, lots of things that you can do but maybe you have wine sitting around 
that reminds you of them because you got it on a trip that you went to together um, or you just have your favorite wine or you're part of a wine club, you can take that wine and gift it in this adorable wine box that then serves as a cute decoration piece for them in the long run. A memory box, these are also available on Amazon that you can spruce up. You can spruce them up with anything really. And if you guys wanna see any more uh, projects like this, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely add them to some of our live craft together videos and all of that so we can get as creative as possible together a garden box now these boxes also come in a set on amazon in different sizes you can see right here i did um a cute one for our art area in the studio but i used the bigger one for terracotta pots and plants and so i just used a stencil to put grandma's garden on this you can put whatever you want on it and put flowers in it you can put succulents in it you can put plants in it herb garden so many cute things and so practical but so cute at the same time and really easy and really inexpensive and finally if you just don't have much time but you got our paper flower kit by crafty mommy bees it is an exclusive kit that we have just for our members we had a very limited supply of them but they make amazing gifts for for moms they are just so cute and sometimes we have a hard time spending twenty dollars on a project for ourselves but if we were to get it and make it for somebody else it instantly justify spending that $20 on them. But it's also handmade and takes the busy work out of it. You basically get a kit that is ready to just assemble. These are also kits that you can purchase to do with your mom or with your sisters or with your daughters or with whoever. So maybe it's a gift that you give as is and it's something for that person to do with you or alone if they're crafty. Okay, that is my nine top ideas for Mother's Day this year. I will, I definitely have more. I just wanted to limit it so that we're not overwhelmed because I know when we have a hundred million ideas, sometimes it can get a little overwhelming. So this year, I just wanted to start with the ones that I thought were crazy practical and something that I also wanted to do so that I could finish them for my mom and for my mother-in-law. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you let me know in the comments below if you want more idea videos because they're honestly super fun for me because they give me a really good excuse to craft up a bunch of stuff. So let me know and I will make sure to make more for you. And if you want specific ideas, let me know as well. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video.